Questions and comments, the Honourable Member for Perth Wellington. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, first of all, I would say that I believe today is the 50th anniversary of the member for Abbotsford's 19th birthday, so I do wish him well on this, uh, this special occasion. But, but the member... But the member, the member did talk about foreign interference into Canadian elections uh, in his talk. And I want to know from him how concerned he is about this government and the other coalition partners' uh, response to foreign interference into Canadian elections, and whether he shares my concern that the government really hasn't lived up to their responsibilities in ca keeping Canadian elections safe from foreign interference. Oh, oh. The Honourable Member for Abbotsford. Well, that's a great question, Mr. Speaker. And it's not only that member and I that have concerns about foreign in interference. We as Conservatives have real concerns about foreign interference. And Canadians across this country are shocked to learn that the Prime Minister has already known for many years that foreign hostile actors were interfering in our elections. He knew about it, didn't advise MPs who were affected by this, didn't put into place anything that would push back on efforts by foreign hostile regimes to try to manipulate our election outcomes. And as you know, Mr. Speaker, there are a number of MPs in Canada that likely lost their re-election because of interference from the communist regime in Beijing. Did it affect the ultimate outcome of the election? No. But it certainly affected the lives and futures of those individual MPs. Questions and comments to the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of Government House here. Thank you. M Mr. Speaker, imagine the hypocrisy that we're actually hearing. The member is saying that the Conservative Party cares. That's a bunch of bull, Madam Mr. Speaker. At the end of the day, think about this. The leader of the Conservative Reform. Um, no. You know, I only interrupt when, when, I, when, when I'm here in disorder in the House, and I think that there was a statement there the Honourable Member, uh, member used. Uh, you can't do indirectly what you can't do directly. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary should know better. Sometimes I get a little colourful, I guess, Mr. Speaker. Uh, delete the word bull. Um, the point is, Mr. Speaker, at the end of the day, the Conservative leader won't even get a briefing uh, so that he can find out who which members of the Conservative Party might be interfered with on the international scene. He doesn't even want the briefing. He'd rather be naive, Mr. Speaker, unlike the NDP leader or the, uh, uh, the Green Party leader. How does the member get off in any fashion whatsoever to say that the Conservatives are genuinely concerned about foreign interference when, in fact, their own leader won't get the security clearance to find out what's actually taking place? The Honourable Member for Abbotsford. Well, as they've done many times before, our Liberal friends across the aisle are trying to muzzle our leader. That's not going to happen, Mr. Speaker. Our leader will speak out on the issues of the day, especially the issue of foreign interference. Foreign interference is corrosive to our democracy. And these folks over there are laughing. Look at, the, look at them. They're laughing at us. They're mocking us for taking foreign interference seriously. When we form government, Mr. Speaker, we will take foreign interference seriously and we'll take steps to fight back and ensure that we remain free and sovereign. Yeah.